Oh man, this is crazy. It's been a long road to get here, you know. I started making music when I was around 12 years old. Me and my boy Nick, Nick Romano. We made this song called Medicine Man and this little bullshit computer mic. <laughs> we were so proud of that song and it was good for what it was. It was around the year 2001. Yeah, because the year before that, Rough Riders, Ride or Die Volume 2 was released with the song World War III on it. It had Snoop Dogg, Scarface, Young One, and Jada on that joint. And it was so hype. I remember that song being next level and being the reason I started writing in the first place. Fast forward to my later teenage high school days, we put together a small group called D-Boy Fam and actually started hitting the studio pretty hard. Put together a full mixtape as well as a bunch of other singles. Started performing random venues all around Baltimore. And honestly, just as we started to create a little buzz for ourselves, life kind of took us all by the balls and shit started to dissipate slowly. And then it came to a halt. And a few years later, my early 20s, my girl got pregnant with Little Man. <laughs> and that was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. The most inspiring thing. I had to write like 30 songs in the nine months my girl was pregnant. Inspiration Station. Then he was here. And it was full on dad mode. I never put down the pen, but I definitely wasn't writing as much. Then fast forward to the year 2020. That fucking year. That year impacted a lot of different people in many a different ways. But for most, unfortunately, it wasn't a very good year. That was the year I lost my cousin and one of the greatest people in my life. Because of all the craziness in the world, the family couldn't come together for it. And nobody could mourn properly. I missed that man more than anything. And although I was devastated, something clicked in me. Because you see, my cousin was a musician, and he paid his bills making music since he was a teenager. And that always inspired me to the max. So despite the trials and the bumps and my age and all the negatives, I decided to chase this dream and jump in head first. It was all leading up to this first official album by yours truly. And I hope everybody enjoys the ride. Cause if you want something, you gotta go get that shit. Breakfast face, man. Yo, it's been a long road. You know I enjoyed the scenery. Try to get them to believe in me. I gotta show them the reason they needed me. Puffing the greenery, smoking a blunt, and I'm taking a dab. I know they be seeing me. I'm letting it go and I'm making it back. Chasing a bag. All of a sudden like the hunger hit me I can feel it in my stomach growling And now I feel like I'll be running quickly Never really been the marketing type But if I want it, gotta get it Got my vision in my sights And I'ma hit it cause I'm gifted Got my family on my back I'll never quit and that's the difference In a race, no track But you know I'll hit the distance Flow when I'm open like ketamine Cut with a dose of amphetamine This is top level shit Some of y'all are getting stuck on the mezzanine Splitting these dividends Putting together all these synonyms I ain't got time for the bitching homie If you got a problem put a ticket in Working for these pennies, bitch, I'm about to pour this Remy How ironic, cup is full, but yet I'm sorta empty Can't afford to let it soar, and yeah, that's more depressing But I won't let them take me out, they know I'm more than ready I keep this 40 steady, and my anxiety's my target for my family I gotta make it regardless, and fuck the hatred, I'll make my way through the darkness I'll take this flame and I'll make it shine like a starship Slice the parsnip, let it soak in the cream sauce And if I ever join this rap race, I'ma speed off I'm getting loose and I don't be capping, now I spit the truth I came to get it, my flow is 150 proof Yeah